ENFPs love to come up with ideas, which mean they will automatically outsmart everyone in the room in terms of originality. Even though they come across as very bubbly, they have a dark and sad side, which will usually resurface when they are alone. Welcome to this video. Today we're going to show you 10 secrets about ENFPs. Make sure to subscribe if you like MBTI. We will continue to create informative and useful videos about each personality type. Now on with the video. It has long been known that ENFP types are the creative and understanding personalities. They are outgoing and will get in anyone's shoes without much difficulty. That is because they are highly empathetic. In this video we will share some of the facts people hardly know about the ENFP type. Number 1, ENFPs are often the most introverted extroverts. ENFPs are known for their warmth and friendliness, but they also need a lot more alone time than many other extroverted types. Sometimes these types are also called ambiverts. Their dominant function, extroverted intuition, often masquerades as an introverted function since it can be activated while alone, or while around others. The ENFP requires a great deal of introverted time, in order to process their feelings, but they ultimately feel the most energized when they are formulating exciting opportunities for the future. ENFPs often feel drained when they're in social environments where they are creatively stifled, or they have to focus excessively on small talk. If an ENFP isn't mentally stimulated or given creative ideas to explore, they can appear more introverted than extroverted. In situations like this, they will likely keep to themselves rather than go out and socialize. Number 2, ENFPs are open-minded but would die for their strongly held values. ENFPs have an enthusiastic and sunny personality much of the time. Many people see them as adaptable, easygoing, and open-minded to anyone. In one respect this is true, ENFPs are always looking for new ideas and possibilities and don't like to be limited in their scope. However, paradoxically, they will go to any lengths not to compromise a deeply held value. As they develop their auxiliary function, introverted feeling, ENFPs start to discover what their conscience is telling them what they believe is right and wrong, what's important to them, what's worth crusading or fighting for. When they've reached this point in their development, they are unflinching in their dedication to their values and would do anything not to betray what's important to them on an ethical level. Number 3, they are excellent at connecting the dots. ENFPs gather information in clusters. In their mind, everything is connected and nothing stands alone. They see abstract relationships and associations between objects, events, experiences, and possibilities that other people miss. Their global vision is astounding to many people who are more focused on momentary experiences. They are often seen as very quick of mind because they assimilate new information so rapidly and extrapolate hidden truths or future potential. Extroverted intuition is a perceiving process that makes a person objectively aware of patterns, connections, and interrelationships in the external world. These patterns are recognized almost instantly sometimes even before enough data is there to confirm the existence of a pattern or connection. Number 4, They Love Trying New Things ENFPs are very experimental people, in almost every way possible. They often want to experiment with new foods, hobbies, and even in their sex life. ENFPs just dislike stagnancy and really hate having to do the same ordinary things, day after day. They want to be able to try something new and really expand their minds in a way that is rewarding. For the ENFP boredom occurs rather easily, and so they need to find ways to get a bit creative with their choices in order to remain entertained. ENFPs love thinking up new ideas and considering all the possibilities in any given situation. They learn about the world through observation and experimentation. ENFPs feel revived by new experiences, especially those involving people. Exploring new places, visiting new people, and experimenting with fascinating projects gives them a rush of energy that keeps their engines fueled up. Number 5, They Hate Being Controlled Personal freedom is very important to the ENFP. They want the absolute freedom for themselves and for other people equally. These free-spirited folks do not take kindly to being restricted, or feeling stifled in any way. ENFPs don't like to be told that they can't do something. Vague explanations like, that's just the way it is or this is how the system works, only enrage them more. If you must put limits on an ENFP, appeal to their soft hearts by showing them how the restriction benefits the group as a whole. Usually they are slow to anger, but if someone blatantly tries to control them they will fight back ferociously. More subtle power grabs, 
like manipulation and passive aggressiveness, might confuse them for a while, but eventually they will see what's going on and lose their temper. Unsolicited advice can set off a fiery reaction for an ENFP because it feels like they're being told what to do. Approach an ENFP with advice at your own risk. They have a very intense reaction when other people are being controlled and restricted as well. In the mind of the ENFP, everybody should be free to do whatever they want. And nobody has the right to control other people. Number 6. They have very strong emotions. ENFPs are intensely emotional people. They are intuitive, sensitive, and consider feelings to be something that everyone should respect and express. This trait can actually cause people with the ENFP personality type a great deal of stress. They focus on the meaning behind other people's words and actions, often overthinking and seeing problems where none actually exist. ENFPs see life as a large puzzle with many interconnected complexities. Sadly, some of these complications are the ENFP's own making. ENFPs use their perceptions of people and the world as a basis for their decisions, and this exposes them to emotional turbulence. Their emotional sensitivity becomes subject to the unstable nature of the world around them, which can threaten their otherwise self-confident and enthusiastic personality. When they have this under control, however, an ENFP's emotional enthusiasm can be inspiring and motivating for those around them. Number 7. They have very different friends. ENFPs are excellent communicators. They know how to engage different groups in conversation and can relate easily to people. This is due to their intuition and empathy when faced with the personal situations and feelings of others. They tend to make others feel at ease, and draw them out of their shells. The high-energy personality of an ENFP helps to keep morale high and discussion flowing. All this applies well to very different kinds of people. That's why ENFPs sometimes have friends from all kinds of backgrounds. They get along with cheerleaders and chess club members alike. ENFP tend to get deeply involved in others' lives. They are very giving, which naturally makes them popular around people. However, sometimes they can give more than others are able to give back. Number 8, They're Verbally Great ENFPs can make great writers. That's because their extroverted intuition is an enormous source of creativity. Often this creativity is expressed verbally. Since ENFPs develop and refine their people's skills, they are usually also interested in the spoken and written word. That is why ENFPs can often be very outspoken. Not only can they come up with great ideas for a story, they can also tell that story in a fun and engaging way. Their third function, extroverted thinking, helps them in this endeavor. It allows them to have logic and structure to whatever they want to communicate. ENFPs often have the necessary skills to write a great book or article. Many famous authors, like Mark Twain and Dr. Seuss, have been ENFPs. Number 9, They Behave Differently Under Stress The ENFP's inferior function is their introverted sensing, which deals with comparing past experiences and finding patterns within them. When the ENFP is under extreme stress or has applied too much pressure to their dominant function, they can go into their grip mode. This causes the ENFP to focus much more on their introverted sensing function, and they behave differently from their norm. The ENFP can become focused on small details, constantly trying to connect with things that make them feel nostalgic. They are drawn to things that comfort them, and don't want to seek out new experiences in the same way they normally do. ENFPs who are in the grip will seem unlike themselves in many ways. They can become obsessive and depressed, unable to see any possibilities or hope for the future. They may become hyper-aware of minor bodily sensations and worry about whether or not they are suffering from a serious illness or are at physical risk. They may feel paralyzed and unable to communicate clearly, as their thinking becomes cloudy and convoluted. They may feel overwhelmed, out of control, unable to sort out their priorities, and inflexible. Some become obsessed with record-keeping, cleaning, or other mundane household tasks that would normally never appeal to them. Number 10, They Often Abandon Projects They Started ENFPs are idea machines. They love launching new projects. This is because of their extroverted intuition, which makes them want to explore ideas and frameworks. However, following through on these projects, can often suffer, because ENFPs strongly dislike routine and day-to-day -day tasks. As their to-do list grows, they become more and more weary of it, and as a result, they launch yet another project. If you're an ENFP and are struggling with too many ideas, try treating most of them as fun thought experiments. 
learn to enjoy the process of dreaming up ideas without pressuring yourself to turn all of them into reality. Once you let go of the idea that you have to implement everything you imagine, you'll feel less scattered and more focused immediately. ENFPs are fun and caring people, which are great to be around. They inspire others with their visions, and as everyone else, they have challenges. Thanks for watching. We post new videos regularly, so make sure to subscribe if you like MBTI. We hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.